Yo, hey everyone, Brian with you from the game comment. We're playing more Stellaris, continuing with Federation campaign, Rikari Trove, uh, playing as the rock hive that everyone hates, even though I want to be friends. Uh, you know, same old, same old, same old. So, let's see, last episode we ended up finishing the bow. Uh, where is our science ship? I think he was doing, I think he was going here, wasn't he? No, no, no. He's up here. Oh, he's finishing exploring this. Okay. Just because we want to see whether or not we want to end up settling that eventually. I might... Nah. I still think I want to bring him over here and do the Pesh one. Because I think this is more likely to be a chain. Where I think this is going to be like a one-off. More than that, this one's right on his border. So I'm slightly concerned that we're going to have to like go into his borders to actually finish it. Alright, let's get things going. Science ship is did run away. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I think science ship's gonna die, but he didn't. Uh, what are we looking at right now? Influence is kind of bad. Okay. Where were we settling? I think... We got all that. I think we were coming to... No, we got all this. I'm trying to remember where we were focused on settling. I don't think there's any area right now where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this territory. Pulling away from enemy fleet. Uh, we found another enemy fleet. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks, actually. Who are these guys? Those are the space amoebas. They're actually not enemies. Uh, I don't want to, man. I mean, they do give you influence, so I can keep expanding my empire. So, sure, let's do it. Hey! The mandate. That's the creepy guys up here like us. Sweet. Sweet. So we got open borders with them. Uh, right now, they're not, they're actually improving relations with us. Nice. So here's the thing. I really need to just take back my rivaling of these guys. I think that's going to really change the game. 2234, so we still are two years away from that. Crash Cruiser. The shattered remnants of a cruiser-sized starship can be uh, detected in a decaying orbit inside the atmosphere. It appears to have ventured into the gas giant's atmosphere. It's too deep to be salvaged. Eh, dang it. I like getting free ones, man. So we established the colony Wet Rock. Nice. Nice. Uh, we don't need any of that right now. Uh, but we should have started with some extra population... Yeah, one extra pop. That's fine. That's fine. Do we want to build anything on it yet? No, I don't think so. I think we're fine. 2% deviancy. Uh, things are fine. 51% stability. As long as the stability's green, I'm pretty happy. And our capital's feeling pretty good, too. So, all right. We good, we good, we good. So, with us being trapped there, I guess we're going to have to go over there. Ooh, boom. Presence printed of alien civilization. Okay. Thank you. Interesting. Research. Where is this? I want to go over here. I think we found our next area that we want to get to. Primitive world. What do these guys look like? Oh. They're little flying bug muscolites, dudes. Okay, okay, okay. They can be my slaves. They can be my slaves. So I really wonder if we uplift the Rikari Trove, or the Rikari over here, if they're going to be uh, a different variation of Rikari, and if they'll be slaves. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be rather interesting. So we're going to get rid of all this stuff because it's fine now. Construction ship, you finished. Yeah, I think we're just filling in some of this stuff. I think is what was happening. Uh, you can build the mining station. Mm, and actually, we were about to get the moats. Were we not? Yeah. Yeah. I think I do want to go over here. Oh, moats over here, too. Nice. Nice. We do need to grab that. I think I am going to try rushing for this. Let's see. We got a tropical Construction world there. Complete. Easy. Knock it out, please. You finish the research station. Let's get you over here. New tradition available. So that finishes this one up. So we get an extra pop growth speed. And what does that give us? Uh, we can build one additional district on all of our planets. So does that give us like a free building right away? Or does it just increase the size? Hold up. 
So right now it says planet size 17. And we don't have an extra district. Seventeen, we don't have an extra district. Maybe it needs a second to tick. Maybe. Maybe. Um What were we in? Traditions and relics. We need another uh perk. <sighs> Sensor range, hyper detection range, eh, interstellar dominion, eh, grass the void, starbase capacity, technological, I think is what we're gonna grab. One vision's monthly unity, which does speed up that, but eh. Amenities, eh. Master of Nature, clear blocker cost. I like it. that one's just so boring. Effect duration, eh. Leader cap, eh. Subject integration, eh. I mean, what we want is obviously, eventually, we're going to want the Colossus, obviously. Engineered Evolution might be interesting. Uh, probably don't want the Flesh is Weak. Probably don't want the Robots. Don't mind getting psionics. That would make our armies, I think, even cooler. <laughs> Galactic Force, yeah, maybe. Defender of the Galaxy? Mm, yeah, actually, I wouldn't mind that. Just get everyone's opinion towards me. And then... Getting the extra starbase damage isn't terrible. I wouldn't mind habitats, or master wonders, or galactic wonders, or hive worlds. Oh, so it's a special planet class that is uninhabitable for non hive minded pops, but are limited. So I couldn't do it. And how many generator mining and districts they can support? They're more efficient. Pops living have their resource output increased. So apparently, I can't live on them. We shall create living worlds that are every bit as much a part of the hive as the drones that inhabit them. Oh, I get you. So they're a special planet class that is uninhabitable for uninhabitable for non-hive minded pops. I misread that. That makes sense. So essentially they're planets, they'll just be rock planets for us. All right, I want technology. I think they nerfed this. I think this used to be research plus 20. Also, I don't think the rare technology used to appear as much. Yeah, I think they changed that one slightly. I mean, it was always been pretty much a must take, I think. All right, you're going to come survey over here, and hopefully there's not going to be evil things that we're going to have to fight and kill, but we shall see. How goes our exploration of you? Construction complete. Uh, we added plus three. Okay, Gunther Prime is a tomb world. Okay. I kind of do want to settle it. I wish we could, like, repair that or do something with it. Size 20, it's not bad. It's just a tomb world. Which we're gonna have to. I don't know, can we have it, tomb worlds? I don't think so, right? No, I don't think I have the tech yet to colonize these. No, I totally can. Okay. Don't you need a tech with normal races? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Uh, anyways, you are hanging out here. You're going to come here and basically wait for us to finish that tech. And then you're just hanging up over here. I mean, I might as well get you right there and then expand. Question is whether or not I want to come up here. I mean, I kind of do, but at this point, I'd rather get the other permanent. Because I... Okay, so we got crystallines. Routine. Go ahead and routine it. I don't think that actually gave us influence. Pretty sure they lied to me. Pretty sure they lied to me. That puts the physics research on hold. We might not even be able to friend them up, <laughs> to be honest. Because we're a hive? I don't know. Let's go ahead and research it. And then, yeah, just keep finishing. Keep finding me more. Reward, influence, or special project. Gotcha. Okay, I misread. I misread. So you're done in good runner. Okay, so then with that, you know what? You're right here. Just go do excavate. We got another science ship hanging out. Um, I think he floated back home because he was about to die. Perhaps. Where'd you come from, though? We have a science ship over there. We have a science ship going here. So this is basically dead ended. We have one over here. So you're basically getting that. So you're going this way. So I think this guy's going to come over here then. And it's going to take 6,000 years to get there, but... <sighs> I really, really, really want the subspace navigation. I think that's a rare one. So we are slightly more likely to find it now. 
but it is nice just to be able to jump your ships across the galaxy. Like, we could come jump them in here and research stuff. Hi. What you feeling? What year is it? We got one more year. He's still improving. Honestly, those rivals is just really what's killing us. Picked up strange energy signature. Appears to be a structure of some kind. All right, whatever. I'm fine just getting the extra stuff. Okay, so you are going right here and you're building the star base. And the other guys are just chilling because we don't have influence. Not really anything here we want. We're doing good on pretty much everything though right now. Okay, then you are this guy. Yup, yup. So then you're gonna come survey and, s whoopsie, whoopsie. Hold shift and then survey. And hopefully you're not gonna get trapped by, you know, evil aliens. Also, we've not seen any of the giant aliens yet. I don't think any of the, um, the entities, the space entities, I think is what their name is. Which is one of my favorite DLCs, but I really have not, I think one time I killed one of them. Space amoebas. Issue special project. Uh, larger than a Corvette, these space amoeba herds are minuscule next to our full corpus. Er, okay. So now we can do another one? Is what you're telling me? Uh, but that one is in society. Meh. Oh! Oh! No, never mind. Never mind. That was one of the aliens we just found. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and just finish it up. Oh, we also have this for the bow. I didn't realize we had that. Okay. Also, you're under excavating. How, how have we missed so many of these? Can we talk about this? Oh, that's the excavation. Okay. Oh, these are excavations, Brian. Then this is that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cross Starship. Where's this one at? That's inside our territory now. We might want to do some more excavation with someone. And that one's over here. Eh. We might want to get another spaceship. I mean, why not? Right? Why not grab another scientist? What's what's the negative? I don't think there's any negative. There's no leader cap anymore. The upkeep is like literally meaningless. I don't think it increases our empire sprawl, so who cares? Uh, we do want to keep settling though while we're here. I think I might crash land into one of these planets. Kind of want to crash land into the tomb world just because I think it would be fun. <laughs> uh, we got an Arctic world over here, so let's go ahead and colonize you. And we will build a... Yeah, I'm going to build just a regular colony ship. Poppus Prime, Propus Prime. Yeah, sure, that's fine. That's fine. And so then this should queue up. Correct. Yep. Okay, just wanted to make sure it was building one and not two. Because we kind of clicked that button a couple times. So are you done? Uh, no. So you're going to keep going. This is a nice spot right there. How's our money? It's okay. Things are fine. You are the new one over there. Good. So go ahead and build mining stations. And we are two tiles away from having that. This is a tropical world, which we might go settle. Just need more influence, man. Really would like more influence. The station in orbit was once a massive particle accelerator orders... Was once a massive particle accelerator orders of magnitude beyond the capabilities of our own. Okay. Where an alien notion, nation studied the very nature of the universe, its records reveal that aliens came to believe our universe existed in false vacuum bubbles, an inherently unstable energy state that could collapse into the true vacuum at any time. If ever an instance of true vacuums came into existence, it would catalyze the conversion of the entire universe into lowest energy state of the speed of light, destroying everything in existence at an observable but inescapable rate. Well, that's scary. The station logs indicate that aliens deduce this process could be triggered by extremely high energy concentration, just like the ones in the massive particle accelerator. They decided to forsake this technology, retreating into simple lives made possible by the bounties of their planet. Over time, they became the primitive species now find on the surface. Okay. Well, that's fun. That's fun. These are the guys we're trying to get to, right? 
So they used to be super crazy advanced race and now they're primitives. And the Stone Age. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the derelict station. That seems dangerous. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh, also we're on pause. Are you paused? Yeah, you're paused. So he's got the particles. Here's the other thing I was actually thinking about, um, and I totally didn't even occur to me until I started titling all the episodes. So if you guys remember one of these archaeology sites was wasn't this one one of these archaeology sites this one had there's a phrase in negative language repeated okay wait wait where was it said uh, uh it will be the tides of the last nothing will withstand its rebirth okay so what does that sound like it sounds like something's gonna come back from the dead and wipe us all out so what did we manage to do we managed to basically uh end up converting one of our planets and then have a whole bunch of alien population on it wait they're still undesirables what we actually don't want you doing that hold up no, I don't want you to do that. So that sounds like that could be a, a danger. That could be a danger for us. Hi, I don't want you doing that. Why are you, why are you moving? I want my slaves, man. I want my slaves. Uh, 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 but we changed everything. We changed everything, so it shouldn't do that. Hi. They're still undesirable. What? Toggle species. I don't know. Set default rights. They should be slaves, not to the undesirables. Oh, we can only make them livestock. I mean... Sure. I'm a little confused with why we're still displacing them. I can't make them drones. I can't put them in the military. I can't colonize with them. I can't change the population controls. I can't change that, and I can't change that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why they are declining still. It is not possible to send unwanted species while they're on. Can I, like, stop it? I mean, I suppose whatever. Hi. You species. Hi. Set rights. Interesting. So why were they not slaves? Okay, I set them as slaves, but apparently it didn't apply here. <laughs> That's very confusing. That's very confusing. Let's see what happens here. Uh, go ahead and do that. Are they still declining? No, I don't want. I don't want decline. Okay, good, good, good. We're good there. We're good there. Uh, menial drones, which I'm assuming then is the slaves. What are they doing right now? Oh, there they are, workers. Aha! They're being used as livestock. <laughs> I can't... And they're producing food, which seems a little weird because they are currently mine, so they should be producing rocks. Maybe it's only rocks. Eh. I don't want them to die, though. Maybe they won't die. I just want them to exist. I would love to actually spread them to the stars, but I'm pretty sure I can't do that. Let's try this, whoopsie. Let's try this one more time. Uh, I wanna go here and let's do set rights. I have no idea, that's just so weird to me why I couldn't change this. I can't change you, I can't do anything like that, right? Yeah, cause we're a hive mind. Military service, I can't do. Colonization rights, I can't do. Population control, I can't do. Slavery type, I have to do livestock. Migration controls, I can't change. Okay, so they're basically just gonna be livestock for us. Producing food, which, sure, Rolling sure. We might want food at some point, but we shall see. So this is my new science ship. Let's go ahead and get another scientist. 
I think we have all of those already, don't we? No, we actually don't have the factory one. So sure, give me one of the factory ones. Uh, and then I don't think our tech right now is using the factory. We do have a factory one. Gosh dang it. Could fire him. Eh, whatever. 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 So, hi. You're going there. And then what was your job? Your job was going to be to start digging. But I'm actually going to have you come dig over here. Just because I kind of want to use this guy over on this dig. Uh, okay, where are the aliens? Oh my god, what the heck is this? Crystalline... Yo, that's scary. That's scary. The freaking heck is this? Oh, you know, I think I have fought these guys before. Okay. Hi, run away. And then you're gonna come survey that system and survey that system. Uh, okay, crystallines are probably alive. So we can get extra energy credits or we can get crystal infused plating. Give me the energy credits, please. I think that's still more useful. We evaded, okay, done, done. And we found an anomaly, which we just used. You are done over here, so you're gonna come over here. And we are getting really close to uh, the primitives, which is not gonna be a problem at all. <laughs> we do have upgrade availables. Sure, whatever. Odd factor. We got an odd factory on wet rock. Oh no, not an odd factor on wet rock. Ugh. We had this before and it was not good. It really effed us all over. Where is it, by the way? Odd factory. Gives us one extra drone. We have menial drone unemployment. I'm confused. He has jobs he can work. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why I was giving us unemployment when there was literally jobs he could work. That was really strange. All right. Sure, work in the odd factory. That probably is not going to be a problem. <laughs> uh, I am going to go build another hive district here. Just because. We will need it eventually. How are we doing here in the capital? We got a little bit of housing left. Uh, we're actually running out of housing here. Oh my gosh. Uh, we've gotten a report. Uh, it seems a ceramic container. Uh, I don't care. You know what? I'm just going to take the influence. I've seen that one like a half dozen times, and I don't know it's really ever given us anything useful, so I'm just going to get the influence for now. Uh, well, what's happening here? You have an extra spot. Okay, we don't want alloys anymore. I kind of feel like I want to pop out some more research. The other option is we now have food. Turns energy credits and food into unity. But I think when it says food, I think it's actually minerals for us. Yeah, I don't think it actually counts as food. You know, that's the other thing we could do is we could actually trade food to other sieves. Or our minerals. Our minerals are okay. Energy credit from jobs. Oh, here we go. Bioreactor. Upkeep is 25 food. We're only making 11 food per. Yeah. 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 It's either going to be the synaptic node. Yeah, or minerals, I see. You know what? I am going to do it because it's administrative capacity. We want the administrative capacity. Uh, routine. Man, this game. <laughs> it goes by so fast, and I'm so addicted to it right now. This is like, I've literally done nothing but record this game the last couple days, it seems like. Uh, another archaeology site. Oh, no, no, we finished it. So, Ramus 1, which is this guy up here, uh, is virtually, sorry, 2A, <laughs> is virtually fractal. The same wild collisions of natural and obviously artificial geography visible from space are replicated on the personal scale planet side. There are mountains with perfect pyramid bases and jagged craggy summits. Interesting. Rough tundra that suddenly becomes a perfectly smooth uh, plain of bare rock until another weathered natural formation bisects it. The juxtaposition of irregular boulders and rocks scattered among the perfect cubes the size of microchip or a hat block as yet we can only imagine how this could come to pass okay do that by the way 
we wanted to do this, but we gotta wait for us to finish society research. Cause I really wanna dive into the bottle, figure out what's up. So is this gonna give us anything? I have no idea. Ships upgraded. Do we actually have use for relics? Artificial relay, discover L site. Yeah, yeah, that's a planetary decision. Okay, I just wanna make sure it's the right one. Um, we upgraded our ships, who cares? We're up to 700. Does that change this? Oh, actually, hold up. End rivalry. Confirm. He's still trying to harm relations with us. But... We should no longer have that rivalry. Theoretically. You have low stability. Why? Because you don't have amenities. Okay. Uh, so population, and we want to focus on... Huh? Please. We only have one menial drone. Well, that sucks. Most intriguing. Okay, cool. Is there any other way to get this? Resource from jobs. They give 20%. Uh, pop approval rating. I don't think there's anything to do to get more amenities either. No, we have to actually build. This is the one we just built the synactic node on, wasn't it? Eh. Eh. It's our Gaia world. Oh, is it because we have the slaves here? Is that lowering our stability? Because these guys don't have happiness. I'm wondering if it's because these guys are there. Huh, interesting. There are one free maintenance job on this planet. This can be filled by any pop that meets the criteria. This can only be worked by drones that are not being purged. I really need another dude here then. Low stability, that's fine. Fleet upgraded, let's continue. Uh, we do have enough. I think we're gonna wait for you to finish and then go immediately for that one. And research then not even build in here. Complete. Very easy research. We finished technology, army, minerals, cool. Is there anything for stability? Ooh, destroyers. Uh, yeah, please. Starhold would be nice too, but give me destroyers first. Let's start with that. We're still waiting on... Complete. Yeah, immediately go build that. We're good over here. We're good. Yeah, it seems like we're fine. Uh, where is this? As per initial finding, uh, the isolated ruin seen from orbit is evidence of a settlement. Unfortunately, the crew is little the wiser for having investigated the structure. Devoid of any other traces of sapient life forms, they possess a zone roughly 13 by 13 kilometers dubbed Zone A, in which the remnants of buildings can be found. Artifacts possessing bizarre properties are in this zone, from minute force field generators to vicious fluids that, meant to, uh, that melt through steel and expand over time. The entire zone permeates its visitors with a deeper sense of contentment despite the often dangerous mysteries. Uh, they're working on a theory. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, we got another Elgate Insight. Cool, I suppose. That one's a little too far away to actually make a difference. What were we looking at? We were completely distracted by something. Uh, it was one of the plants was suffering amenity issues, which I think it was Batak Rock, right? Which everything seems to be okay right now. Our stability is kind of bad. Does this affect our stability? It doesn't seem so. It doesn't seem so. I'm really just trying to get through this. Three months. Okay, three months and then we're going to wrap this episode up. <laughs> if if we can actually finish it. Uh, another hostile fleet present. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're dead end over here. Okay, then. Well, there went one of our scientist ships. Wow. Wow. Ruby Swarm. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's not go in that direction. We're kind of blocked in, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah, kind of seems that way. 
so we have a new colony formed here. Congratulations, you have two population now, all right? Yes, you do have two population. I will go ahead and build one of these districts. We gotta start with the amenity building, I think, from now on. Yeah, I think that's the first building we have to build on every one of these planets. Okay, so we probably are going to want to start filling things in. Space Amoebas Forever. It's usually accompanied by a handful of semi-independent flagella used for defense or object manipulation. The amoeba and its flagella do not share a mind. The former instead using RNA lace secretions to the program for the latter for the execution and tax of middling complexity. So... We can get regenerative whole tissues or plus five evasion. I'm gonna take a plus five evasion just because I think that's just a base thing on all of our fleets, which just seems to make all of our ships better. Correct? I think so. And evasion's pretty good in the game. Um, if we have to actually add it, that kind of sucks. But I didn't want to have to add armor. It doesn't look like we have to add it. Okay, so what I want to do really quick is go situations, and we're going to do this. And it's going to take 41 months, but hopefully we learn more about the bow. Hopefully we don't bring them back from the dead. And if we do bring them back from the dead, hopefully they don't rise up and kill their makers or their people who love them now. I don't know. We shall see. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you did, uh, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, share the game, comment, and share your support. We're hopefully going to get a few more of these archaeology sites uh, mined out too in the next episode. So until then, later everybody.